Early on this Wednesday evening, a big bus pulls into the parking lot of a shopping mall outside Washington. It's operated by Mobile Hope, a Loudoun County nonprofit organization that supports homeless and economically at-risk children. Children and their parents have already formed a line. Waiting for them inside the bus are bags of groceries, toiletry items, school supplies, books, and toys. Everything is donated and free to these families. Donna Fortier founded Mobile Hope four years ago. I couldn't sleep at night knowing that there were kids in our community that were struggling or that were homeless or that were precariously housed. She quit her job as community affairs director at Innova Loudoun Hospital last year to fully focus on the program. Oh, it was very scary. Um, I have a daughter in college, my son's in high school, and um, it was tremendously scary. I haven't looked back. It's the most humbling thing I've ever experienced. The hospital donated the bus, which had been used to provide mobile health care services. We take our mobile unit um, out every Wednesday night to different locations throughout our county and we average anywhere from 50 to 90 kids who will come on board to receive services. Some are new, but many are regulars. Amparo Diaz came with her little sister. We found out with our friends. Um, they told us to come here and we came for Christmas. They gave us presents, they gave us things and they give us um, food too, so it was kind of a good thing. Some parents don't speak English December and need a volunteer interpreter's help. Rhonda comes three days a week to help pack and deliver food. I think it's helping because now you see some of the kids, they look much better, healthier. Mobile Hope also holds a monthly shopping night at its offices that draws up to 200 youngsters looking for donated clothes and shoes. And now did you guys get a Fortier plans to build a facility where young adults can be housed and taught life skills. Eventually, she'd like to see Mobile Hope expand to other cities to help more children become productive members of society. For producer June So, I'm Carol Pearson, VOA News, Washington.